Ulysses, come in. Go ahead. This is Arctic Listening Station, XC5. Come in. Laser beam. Laser beam. You must have heard that. Laser beam. It's asking us to energize the laser beam. Professor. That's what it must have meant all these hours. I'm going to do it. No! Sven, this is the big breakthrough. An entity speaking from outer space. If that's true, what does it want? Why should we energize the beam? So it can ride down on it, come to Earth on it. We can't refuse. We don't know what it is or what it intends to do here. It has to be friendly. Why else would it contact us? Don't do it. Break contact. Ooh. You can't stop me now. He's coming in. It's coming. The heat. This is Arctic Listening Station XC5. We are being destroyed. Attacked by heat. Send help. We need help. The heat. It's here. Contacting that listening station. No, sir. I haven't been able to get through to them since that last cry for help. Now, you're sure he said they were in trouble from heat? Yes, sir. I'm positive. All right. Keep at it. Aye, aye, sir. Well, here it is. Norwegian Space Listening Station XZ5. Well, that's about 150 miles from where we are right now. And practically all of it's under the Arctic ice cap. We'll have to find some open water near the station. We'd better. Prepare to dive. Aye, sir. Prepare to dive. Aye, sir. Dive. Dive. All dive. All dive. Aye. Open water 100 feet above, sir. Surface. 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 Aye, sir. Any trouble, let us know at once. We'll have a backup crew ready. I see. Let's go, Chief. All right. They're approaching the listening station now. We should know in a few minutes what happened. Quick, 
Steve, you. This is the skipper. Send out the snow cat. There's a man alive in here. On its way, sir. before, but, uh, what's in there? If I didn't know better, I'd say it was fire. For hours, maybe even for days, I don't know, I was convinced that we were on the edge of making contact the big breakthrough in space research that I have been working on for over 10 years. Listening for some sort of communication from living beings out of space, right? You. Yeah. At last, I was sure we were in touch with aliens when I heard the words. They came like the sound of the wind, but sometimes they were almost clear. Words? Uh, what kind of words? Well, they were never quite clear, rising, falling. Nothing that really made sense. Nothing. Until today. And then I heard it. I know I heard it. Two words. Laser beam. It wanted me to energize the laser beam. Did your assistant hear this too? No. Sven heard only what he wanted to hear. He was a frightened man. Apparently for a very good reason. He's dead, isn't he? There is no scientific progress without sacrifice. I can't even understand how I survive. Unless... It wanted me to survive. It. That must be the answer. All those hours of making contact and then the big breakthrough. It wants me alive. It needs my help. Well, what do you believe it is, Dr. Bergstrom? I don't know. But I do know that it is an entity, an intelligence from somewhere up there. It is in touch with us through me. We must make the best of it. It sounds as though you're convinced it's a friendly intelligence. I am. And yet it killed your assistant and destroyed your laboratory. Admiral, when man goes to the stars, as he eventually will, he will not go as an enemy. He will go to learn. And he may accidentally make mistakes. He may inadvertently antagonize or hurt the alien creatures he encounters. And that's what you think happened at your listening post? I do. That's why we must go back to the listening post to re-establish contact with it. Now, it's quite possible that this phenomenon you discovered is here aboard Seaview right now. How is it possible? But there was no heat when we rescued you, Doctor. Only below zero temperatures. And all we found there was uh, an oddly shaped block of ice. Ice? What has that to do with it? This alien entity was tremendously hot. There was something inside that ice, like a, a pulsating glow that looked like fire. Mm. Then it must be it. Where is this ice? I must see it. Fire detail, report to section D7 on the double. Repeat, fire detail to section D7. Put the trunk. Emergency indicator show a sharp temperature rise in D7. D7? That's where we stored the ice block. Doctor. <laughs> The entity is in there. It's come to life. We must talk with it, Admiral. It stays behind steel doors. Do we know what it is and how we can control it? But it came to me. Surely I am the one to say what to do next. Chief, move in there with CO2. Aye, aye, sir. The heat is getting worse. Professor Bergstrom, I've talked to you. Who are you? It's getting hotter. Check the air conditioning. Control room. Give us a temperature reading on section D7. 115 degrees and rising. Is the air conditioning working? It's functioning normally, but it can't control that rise. All right, crank it up. Aye, sir. 
What was in that cake of ice? I told you, a heat being from deep space. Well, whatever it was, it's certainly a board. The heat is still rising. We better find it and destroy it. No! We can't. You can't just take for granted that an alien being is hostile? Well, perhaps not. But I am certain it's dangerous to human life. You! Whatever you are, we are your friends. I'm Bergstrom. Chief, put it out in the double. Aye, aye, sir. gone. You've destroyed it. Well, I, uh, I sincerely hope so. But it's murder. You have deliberately killed a creature from another world. It's about time. I was beginning to feel like, uh, like a boiled lobster. All right, Chief. Secure the detail. All right, sir. Control room. What's the temperature reading in section D7 now? The heat's dropping now down to 108. But we're getting a rise in temperature amidships. It's up to 120 and still going up. Well, apparently, nobody's been murdered, Bergstrom. The heat's still with us. All right. Pinpoint the location and notify. On the double. Aye, sir. Please, listen to me. When you locate it again, let me make contact with it. I'm sure I can help. Captain Crane, this is Sparks. Go ahead, Sparks. I'm picking up a strange sound, sir, like a voice lost in the wind. That's it. I can't make it out clearly, but I think I caught the name of Bergstrom. I told you that was it. It came to make contact with me. We'll be right there. Aye, aye, sir. Sir, heat of midships holding at 123 degrees. Still there, Spikes? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I've lost it. You can't lose it. Get it back. Check out the electronic controls. Give me that meter box. Give me a check on the primary circuits. Now, it shouldn't be this warm in here. 
Yeah. Maybe that heat thing's close by. Yeah, it could be. It's not here now. Maybe we ought to get out of here. Relax, will you relax? Now, we've got a job to do, so... So let's do it. What's your reading? I said, what's your reading? Oh. Trouble. The needle's in the danger zone. Hey, it's moving up higher. Yeah. And it's getting hotter in here, too. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait a minute. We better pull all the primary circuits first. Right. Corridor 17 and 18. Get some stretches down here fast. Let's get the engine running. Engine running.
creature could have made prints like this. Are you convinced now, Captain? All right. I know we're faced with something that could destroy the Seaview and all of us. It's already cut down Kowalski and Malloy, so what are we going to do about it? Just what it asks. We'll talk to it. Uh, but we can't go in there without some, something to fight it with. Some protective clothing and CO2. It has nothing to gain from attacking the three of us. Let's hear what it has to say. Yes, Admiral. I ask for Professor Bergstrom of Station XZ-5. I'm here. With others. They are your friends, too. We're all your friends. Prove it. Do as I ask. What do you ask? It is simple. But who speaks? I'm Admiral Nelson, and this is uh, the captain of the Sea View, Commander Grant. We have heard your words across space. Who's we? I am not here to waste words on explanation, but since you are here, we will take advantage of your presence. You have vast power aboard this ship. Use it. What, what power? You will employ the nuclear reactor to blast the thermal heat ray under the ice pack, directly beneath the hut, which was Arctic listening station XZ-5. The ray will carry a heat blast of 3,000 degrees centigrade. 3,000 degrees would it take at least two hours to build up that amount of heat. In that case, I give you two hours. No more than you will direct the blast beneath the hut. That is an order. Oh? We don't take orders. And why do you ask us to send that blast? We do not give reasons. Suffice that they are good. Send the blast in two hours. Meanwhile, the heat will rise aboard your ship, slowly but inevitably. It will not drop until you fire the blast. If the blast is not fired, your ship and all aboard will die. You, whatever you are, I am Bergstrom. You have not talked to me. I have talked with the Admiral. It is sufficient. Two hours. I repeat, we, we don't take orders without reason. Is that reason enough, Admiral? Two hours. Engine room temperature. 124 degrees. At least that thing's keeping the temperature down in the engine room. Not in the rest of the ship. It's 117 degrees here in the control room. 136 in section F2, 138 in F3. There are men in F3. Get them out of there. And turn the air conditioning up to full emergency. Section F3, there's the exec. Evacuate your men into G9. Air conditioning section. Go to full emergency. Admiral. The average temperature on your submarine is 132 degrees. At the present rate of rise, in two hours, every man on board will be dead. If you're suggesting that we give in and send a heat blast under the ice, the answer is no. Lee, any help from the computer? None. All the known data have been fed into it, but it's not enough. You can't even give us a hint about that thing. But you can't fight it. Either you send that thermal blast under the ice or we all die. Any contact with Washington? Oh, I can't make contact with anyone, sir. What about the emergency circuits? No, everything's out. That heat must have damaged the transmitter boxes. Mm. How long to make repairs? Well, possibly three hours. But they're down to section F3. I don't know. Give me a fish. The heat's moving into the reactor room. It's 142 degrees in there and rising. We may have to abandon ship. Oh, no, no, that, that's no good, Lee. We're not equipped to survive on the ice packs. And unless help came fast, we'd be frozen instead of roasted. And how are you going to get help? The radio is beyond repair. Admiral, why fight when you could collaborate? I didn't send that uh, blast under the ice. What can you lose? 
There's no one out there who can it hurt. I still say that whatever is on board this ship is not belligerent. It came to me of its own free will. Apparently with a desire to burn us all to a crisp. No, I do not believe it. Well, I do. Give it a chance. We have the opportunity to learn things that man has never known before. True meaning of the stars, contact with intelligence from deepest space. Who knows what else we may learn? Well, I'd like to learn why it wants a nuclear blast under the ice. If it blasts the ice, you'll have your answer. There yeah, well, one answer. There must be a reason why it needs heat and why it's putting pressure on us instead of destroying us. Oh, you are wrong. I know that this thing is invincible. Invincible? I wonder. It was, it was trapped in the ice, perhaps dying of cold. If we hadn't brought it aboard, maybe that's the answer. Cold. If we flood the engine room with artifacts... I will one. not let you kill it. I have given you ten years of my life. Heat's rising again. It's 123 degrees in here, up to 149 degrees in the reactor room. I flood the engine room now. Right away. 149 degrees in the engine room. What would you guess it would be in about uh, an hour and a half? Hot enough to melt some controls and set up a chain reaction. Exactly. Admiral, this is Crane. The flooding controls and circuitry are welded tight by the heat. I'll go into the engine room with CO2 equipment and activate from there. Right, Lee. Go to it. Get two more of these ready. I'll get the special rig. Trying to kill you. How would they kill me? I want to flood this room with the icy sea waters. Icy sea waters? But you came to me. To me is why I stopped them. What do you expect from me? Oh, you can teach me so much. The secrets of the universe. I want to learn. But we can all learn. They too, if you will just meet us halfway. Tell me one thing so they will help, not hinder. Why? Do you ask for the blast under the ice? We do not answer questions. Oh, but you want them to do what you say. They will do what I say. So will you. I want to. You will. You will work with us because you wish to learn, and we will teach. But first, tell them to send that blast under the ice. They have hardly an hour left. I can't force them. You will find a way. If you fail, everybody on this ship dies. Listen, there are over 100 men aboard. We are no longer interested in discussion. Do as you are bid. Go.
128 here in the control room, 147 in the engine room, and 163 in the reactor room. Mm-hmm. Admiral, this is Crane. Yes, Lee. Find Bergstrom and throw him in the brig. What happened? He attacked me and knocked me out. Did you flood the engine room? No, he got me on the way. I'm heading there now. Ah, uh, Georgia. There is no hurry, Admiral. You're not going anywhere. We put that gun down. Order the blast. Heat the reactor and order the blast. <laughs> Fight something bigger than you are. Order the blast. Take him to the restraint ward and lock him up. You are wrong. You will die. We will all die. I know. I know. Now fire, fire the blast. I know we will die. Fire it. Take the calm. I'll be in the engine room. Uh. Play the stream on it. I'll try to get to the flooding controls. All set. Let's go. Fools, did you think you could destroy me? Your time is running out. Do as I say. For you yourselves shall all be destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. What if there are more of them out there, frozen in the ice as this one was? Needing the, the heat from a nuclear blast to bring them to life. Well, if you're right, what can we do? Go back to the hat. Uh, take the snow cat and an M74 time bomb, set it to blast the entire area. With an M74, we could be in trouble too. No, no. But when, when do you get back? We'll abandon ship. Flood the sea view as we leave. Now, now move, move fast. Another half hour, we're all finished. Nobody listens. Two men have left this craft. They go to the hut. In the interests of interplanetary accord, you must follow and destroy them. But I can't leave the ship without being seen. I can't even get out of here. We can teach and you can learn. Invisibility. It is an element which you will experience. How do you mean? Look at yourself. Yes. Yes, I'll go. Where do you go, sir? The bomb is secure on the snow cat. I don't have to tell you to hurry. None of us can send much more heat. But we'll get it done and get back as soon as possible.
Admiral said there might be more of them out here. They've come in on the laser beam. In the heat of the nuclear blast under the ice could bring them to life. So, we'll blow them back to where they came from. about a half an hour to get Seaview out of here. We'll get it a blow at uh, 2.45. It's 2.15 now. Just the wind. Let's go. No. Who's there? Dr. Bergstrom. Where are you? Over here. Where? Bergstrom. escape hatch before we all die of heat. Well, the only cutting gear we have down here is this torch, sir. Well, that'll have to do. All right. Go ahead and keep in touch, sir. through the hatch. Secure the hatch. 
Ильич. We'll get to the bandage. I have to have divers in the hatch trying to burn their way out. 153. With that kind of heat, how long can we last? Sir, this is Anderson in the escape hatch. There's not a prayer of cutting through up here. What's the trouble, Anderson? The escape hatch is welded to the entire deck section, sir. We have to cut through five feet of solid steel to get out. All right, we'll bring it back in. Go. Aye, sir. How, how long before the bomb blows? Eight minutes. Well, I'd say it's, I'd say it's a toss-up. Which gets us first? The heat or the bomb? We're all finished, you know. Finished? What does that mean? They've set a time bomb. This will blow at quarter to three. Everybody dies, including those others like you out there. So you failed to stop them. I tried. That is not good enough. You have lost your usefulness. We do not need you. So I must die. Burn like the others, is that it? Well, you can die too. There must be a way. What is it? I speak to the commanders. The admiral, the captain. Send out men now. Deactivate that bomb. Deactivate that bomb. And if we don't? If you don't, this craft will boil and burst within minutes. Uh, six minutes before the bomb goes. I speak again to the commanders of this ship. You have my orders. The heat will continue to rise. Send out men now to stop that bomb. Are you doing as I bid you? Send out men. Admiral. This is Bergstrom. Bergstrom. Listen. Listen. Yes, Bergstrom. The thing can die. Cold will kill it. Is there freezing equipment on board? Liquid oxygen. Admiral, listen to me. I can't... Even with these, we burn to death before we get to the control room. We'll get protective clothing. You will not answer. Then the answer is with me. You will boil. Die. Die.
gold. Gold. So gold. We got it. It's over. The heat's falling. It's not over. The bomb. Get us out of here, Lee, if we're still maneuverable. And if we still have a crew. Prepare to dive. Prepare to dive. I. Dive. 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 Thankful for all small favors, Lee. 